Hey guys, this is Dr. Fox. Welcome back to the channel. So, I went on an adventure to the States today. Um, we got some things. I thought I would share with you the haul. Most of it's spooky, which is really exciting. Um, we'll do the boring things first, being that we did go into Hobby Lobby. And I got some yarn. We got these three um, yarn bee yarns. They're these really, really pretty jewel tone colors and they sparkle. So we got those. I got this very pretty plush um, orange pumpkin color. As well as these three really fun variegated shades. Um, so these are all chenille yarns, and I can't wait to make things with these for my shows in September and in December, so that's really exciting. We'll put those over here. Cat wants to play with the bag. Uh, went to Joann's, obviously. I got two bags. I love Joann's little bags. They're great project bags. They're a really good size. So this one, it's just got a moon, and then it's got moon phases. And then this one is a ghost. It says boo. Picked up this spooky vibes patch because I'm working on a jacket. And then I did pick up some new fabrics for items for my shows. Um, this one is a knit. It's just a white and orange stripe with these little tiny kit cats. Um, this one's not for shows. This one is for me. Uh, I think this is going to be the sleeves on another one of these hoodies. Um, because I think wearing stripes is a little much. Sir. Nico. You got, you got to do that right now? You got to do that right now? Okay, thanks. Um, and then I did get a few fabrics. So... They got this really cute, spooky yeah, I mean, snack good. one with donuts and poison apples and ice cream cones and things. The ice cream? Cotton candies. This one is just this kind of like smoky effect with moons and stars. This metallic celestial moment. It's got like a rainbow oil slick metallic going on. It's gorgeous. We got a little bit of Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson sisters. This one I bought specifically for keychains, and I might do some bowl cozies as well. But we've got Jigglypuff with some different Pokeballs, so that's really cute. I'm in love with this one. I got a little bit, I got a yard of it. And then my coworker, who is also with me, bought the rest of it. Um, and it is this classic Monsters super vibrant print. Like, I love this. I got this tarot card, snakes and skulls, smoky moment. This one I think is going to be just for me because I own so much Beetlejuice fabric that I think I might make myself a Beetlejuice quilt. And I thought this would be perfect for putting with it. It's this purple and green with these very Tim Burton-esque vines and little spiders on it. And then I was already in love with this. And then when I took it to the counter, I found out that it glows in the dark. So we have this celestial moment with moths in jars and they glow in the dark and it's amazing. So that's all the fabric. And then I got one other thing at Joann's and that is this adorable little spider web cauldron. They had one I wanted last year, but when I got a chance to get one, they only had the ginormous ones, which I don't have a home for. So I got this one, it was $20. In America, which means when I looked at my bank statement afterwards, it kind of sucked, but it's adorable and I love it. And then we also went to Walmart, of course, because we bought a bunch of snacks. So I got a bunch of snacks, um, including the Easy Squeeze Cheese back there. But um, I had seen these in a photo that somebody shared in a group that I'm in, and I was like, oh my god, I need those because I do love these socks. However, I have a few different patterns, and this collection is a Beetlejuice set, so that's really cute. And then these are the different, like, Beetlejuice socks that it has in them, and I'm just 
These are excellent socks. They're from the men's department in America Walmart. We don't have them up here in Canada that I've seen so far. And we got these uh, flared leggings, aka yoga pants. Um, this really cute celestial moment. So I'm really in love with these. I can't wait to put these on. I will probably put these on after this video is over. Uh, we did go into um, a Marshall slash Home Goods where I found a couple of pieces to add to my kitchen, which is really exciting. So the first thing, the very first thing I saw was actually this really cool like skeleton hand holding a rose and then there's like a gold snake around it and I was gonna buy it for my tattoo artist until I noticed that it was actually broken in one spot so I put it back. Um, sad. However, the second item that I like zoned in on, zeroed in on this from a distance and was like that's mine, um, is this spider web casserole dish. It's got a little spider inside. This is Prima Design super super cute i'm in love with this so adding to my spiderweb kitchen and then to go along with that further in the back i found this one which is just a black and white stripe and then it has spiders and spiderwebs inside of it so also goes with my spooky spiderweb kitchen and this is like the perfect size to make a loaf of banana bread so this is gonna be great i might even make some pumpkin love this year Ooh. I'm fully immersed in spooky season already. I don't even care. I don't need the end of summer. Just give me spooky. And fantastically enough, we walked out of Home Goods and stumbled upon a spirit Halloween that was open. So exciting. And I already had a coupon, which is amazing. So I did not find my trick or treat shirt yet. They didn't have everything out and available. Um, so I'm going to keep looking for the trick-or-treat shirt. I saw at least two other shirts as well as a jacket that I want, but those will have to wait. However, I did purchase a shirt and tote bag combo. So this is the tote bag that it came with. It's a little crystal ball, says Creature of the Night. It's just orange canvas tote bag. And with it, the main purchase is this kind of vintage Halloween print um, tie button up. I'm in love with this so much. Um, because you probably don't know this, I actually own two of these shirts already. One of them is Beetlejuice and one of them is Jason and they're like my favorite shirts in the world. I have a whole stack of shirts in this style that are cut out waiting for me to sew them together in prints that I can just have cottons lying around of. I'm in love with these shirts, so I'm really happy to be able to add another to my collection, and this one's really cute. Anyway, um, that's everything. That's the entire haul, minus the snacks. I don't, I'm not going to show you my snacks. It's just like groceries and snacks. Um, yeah, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed this. I will see you guys um, next time. Sorry I'm not posting regularly. I got a lot of shit going on. Bye.